Hi guys, we are here for religion. Um, let's start with our class prayer. I know we've been doing the Our Father recently, but let's do our class prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Dear God, please help all of the sick people get well, Please help all the children who don't have a family, and please help me be the best that I can to be like Jesus. Amen. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, guys, so we have been spending a lot of time talking about the Holy Spirit. And um, yesterday we talked about how um, those gifts of the Holy Spirit help, is a teacher to us, right? But that the Holy Spirit's not our only teacher that uh, maybe your parents are your teachers and I'm your teacher and you've had so many different teachers in your life already and you will continue to have a lot of different teachers in your life. Um, so today we're going to talk about how um, how Jesus, how he was a teacher and how he liked to talk about that the Holy Spirit was a teacher too. So if you have your religion books, you can open up to page 234. Two hundreds, three tens, or ones. And if you don't have it yet, just pause Miss Egan until you're ready. So, does it, what do you see in the illustration there? Can you see Jesus talking to a group of people? And they're all looking up at him, right? Like they're they're soaking in everything he's saying. He's being their teacher. Um, and he's going to teach them about prayer, right? So I wonder what he's going to teach them about prayer. What are some times of the day that we pray? We prayed right before religion, right? But if we were at school, we would pray first thing in the morning, right? When we do our morning announcements and the Pledge of Allegiance, right? We start our day with prayer. Um, we eat before snack. We eat, we pray, I'm sorry, we eat before snack. We pray before snack. Silly, Miss Egan. We pray before snack. We pray before lunch. We pray after lunch to say thank you for that food, right? Um, we pray at the end of the day, at the end of our school day. We pray when you go home, maybe you pray before dinner. Maybe you pray before bedtime, right? And those are that's the way we pray when we're talking and saying our prayer, right? And we also know that um, singing and singing beautiful songs about God and Jesus and dancing and praising God, like that's a type of prayer too. So um, there's many different ways that we can pray. So let's listen to this story about Jesus. It's called A Special teacher. Jesus told his friends many stories about prayer. One time Jesus said that we should pray always. Ooh, that sounds kind of hard, doesn't it? How can we do that? The people asked. We will grow tired. We will run out of things to say. Another time Jesus explained that the Holy Spirit teaches us to pray. This spirit helps us turn everything that we say and everything that we do into a prayer, right? If we use those fruits of the Holy Spirit, then all of our actions and all of our words will also be a prayer, right? The spirit helps us even when we feel like giving up. Never give up, Jesus said. When you pray, keep asking God for what you need. Keep knocking at God's door until he answers. For everyone who asks will receive. Everyone who seeks or looks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door is opened. Hmm. Well, so the people that he's talking to, right, his followers here, they're a little worried about being able to pray all the time. But Jesus is saying, all of your actions and all the things you do and all of the words you say, they can be considered prayer. And if you get worried and you feel like giving up, that should you go up, run up to heaven, run up a ladder and knock on a door? What do you think he means by that? Look at the illustration of the boy knocking on a door. Are you really going to go knock on a door? Or what's that saying? Right? If I go... If I'm going to knock on my neighbor's door, if I want to go to my neighbor's house, I'm going to go knock on her door, right? I'm going to go, and I might say, hi, can you come out and play, right? I'm knocking on her door because I want to ask something, 
right? So if we're knocking on God's door, it means we want to ask him maybe for help, right? So we're not really knocking on God's door, but by praying to him and asking um, for help is the way that we're knocking on his door, right? We're not really knocking on his door. It's a, it's a figure of speech. And so Jesus promised his followers and us that the Holy Spirit would help us pray. And the Holy Spirit will help us find love and peace and joy if we let it, right? And when we feel like giving up, then we should ask God for help. Think about our prayer that we said before we started, right? Our angel of God prayer. At the end of it, we said, dear God, please help all the sick people get well. What are we doing? We're asking him for help for those people. We're asking him. We're knocking on his door. Help everyone that's not well. Please help all the children who don't have a family. Again, we're asking God, please help them. They need help. And please help me be the best that I can. Again, we're asking God for help. We're knocking on his door saying, God, I need your help to help me be the best that I can. Right? And when we're ask, we're doing an asking prayer, that's called a prayer of petition. And you may have heard that word from when we're in church or when we do um, our prayer services at school, right? And it's um, a type of prayer. It's an asking prayer, right? So the Holy Spirit teaches us to pray. And he helps us to pray for what we need. We call these prayer petitions to help us for what we need. Even our kind acts can become prayers. Helping a person, um, sh helping someone else, right? Helping a person shows our love for Jesus because he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if you go and help someone else, then you're praying to God and you're saying, I'm doing your works, God. I'm praying to you. And our kind act becomes a prayer. So our petitions or our asking prayers when we need help um, is when we ask God to give us the things we need, right? Um, do you remember when we did our Christmas prayer service when you guys, um, when uh, we sang, He is the light, 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 light of the world. Um, and everyone, all five of you, got up and you stood in front of the microphone. And we asked God for help. We said, dear God, please um, bring joy into the world. And then we, and then you raise your hand and you say, Lord, hear our prayer. We were asking God for our help. That was a prayer of petition. So all those times that we do those um, prayers in church, when someone raises their hand and say, Lord, hear our prayer, they're asking for a certain type of prayer, maybe praying for a certain family, praying for the people that are protesting right now, praying for anyone that's sick with the coronavirus, right? Praying that we all get to go back to school soon, right? All of those are asking prayers and you say, Lord, hear our prayer. And those are prayers or petitions. And that's like knocking on God's door and saying, God, I need your help. So if you see this illustration on page 235, it's um, a big box and then a door at the bottom, right? So I want you to draw um, an illustration about something or someone that you would ask a prayer petition for. What would you knock on God's door about? Okay. All right, guys. So have fun. Think about what you would pray to God for and then make a beautiful illustration with it. All right. And if you want to write about it too, you can do that also. Um, have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed religion today and I will talk to you soon.